if you were talking about a form of ownership, for example, in San Francisco, we have single family homes, we have condos, and we have TICs. And what makes condos and TICs really different is both the way they're funded and the way they're run. Um, so for example, in a condo, I, my um, neighbor loses their job or gets divorced. I don't really care. It doesn't affect me. He pays his mortgage. I pay my mortgage. He pays his taxes. I pay more, my taxes. TICs are different. We're more financially intertwined. My TIC partner, because I only own, say, 50% of the building and they own 50%, their family drama, they lose a job, they can't pay the property tax, I am on the hook for that. Um, maybe we have one big loan or maybe we have fractional financing. So ideally it's fractional financing, so I'm not on the hook for their part of the mortgage. But you can see how being owning a TIC is just a little bit more intertwined. And actually those loans, you can't get a 30-year loan. You're probably only going to get a five-year or a, um, an adjustable loan. So there's lots of different things to consider with TICs.